movie should we talk about first? Should we go in uh, chronological you, order? Or? You you decide. Um, right. No, I, let me tell you about a movie I'm working on now, which okay. I, think, yeah, yeah. I think it's my it's my best film. I think I think it's the best written one. Um, it's called Martin und Hans. Uh, it's about this uh, actor Martin Koslick, whose name I remember because my first boss in the film world had edited a movie in which Martin Koslick was the star. But uh, basically he was, he played Nazis and uh, he had this kind of lucrative career playing Nazis from 1939 on. And then in the middle of the forties, he also was in low budget horror movies. Anyway, the movie was gonna be about him because he has a, he sort of had, he has a small part in Foreign Correspondent and when I saw Foreign Correspondent again recently, I said, oh, Martin Koslick, yes, that, that's a good idea. So I did a little research on Google, of course. It's, it's not really research. It's just like pressing <laughs> buttons. I mean, in the old days, when I was a kid, you had to go to the library. Well, here you can get all the information you need and more uh, on Google. So uh, he was very uh, outspoken about the Nazis. and. Uh, they wanted to put him on a list. So he left Germany. He was also Jewish um, and gay. So, uh, so he came to America and he was in not too many movies in America, but uh, with the movie Confessions of a Nazi Spy in 1939, he played um, Goebbels. Mm. And he played Goebbels five times in his career. And in the, mov in the movie I'm making, uh, he, it's narrated by Martin and somebody else. I'll get to that point a little later. So uh, he says, "That's isn't that a good subject for a movie, Mark? <laughs> He's saying <laughs> to me, and I answer him, well, I think we've got enough with what we've got. But partly because I couldn't dig up all the Goebbels movies. And secondly, I, I don't think it's that interesting. Anyway, it's, it's a double biography. And it's the, this other guy is called Hans Heinrich von Twardowski who was also, he was an actor in German silent movies. And if not a, exactly a star, he was in a lot of movies, he, in very important movies. He's in uh, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and, uh, and uh, a couple of movies that you may or may not have heard of. It's, it's irrelevant at this point. Anyway, he comes to Hollywood and he also winds up playing Nazis, uh, but he had a career before before we started paying attention to Nazis in Hollywood movies. He was in The Scarlet Empress with, uh, and became good friends with Marlena Dietrich as a result of it. And um, anyway, I I'm, I'm doing this research and I find that the two of them were lovers and were, love were together for 28 years. And I said, oh my God, I've got to do that. <laughs> I, 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 a friend of mine turned me on to Hans uh, Heinrich von Twardowski, whom I will call Hans from now on. Uh, and I was just going to do it about Martin Koslick, but then, then I said, oh, I've got to do this about both of them. And it's like two different narrators, plus me, so it's three different narrators, and uh, that's the story. So, so it, it, I think it was, it's more complicated than anything I've done before, and I also had to watch a lot of movies, a lot more movies than usual. And actually, I'm having my assistant come over this week and help me look for even more movies that I haven't seen uh, that he that can be found on the internet on you, excuse me, on YouTube. But I don't ha I don't have the skills to. Um, well, you have to. It, they say it's not. They say it's for free, but you get, have to give them your credit card. So what's the free part? Uh, anyway, there there are a lot of movies that I have not seen, but expect to see and. Maybe it'll make the film uh, longer and stronger. I, I don't know at this point. So, but I'm I'm ready to I, I I'm almost ready to mix it with what I've got. Oh, so you shot like uh, a lot of the the narration. Are, are they going to be like uh, kind of narration interstitials, like in the Gene Seberg and the? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And is it going to be feature length? No, no. This is thirty-seven minutes. You can fit all that in thirty-seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I fit in in less than 37 minutes talking to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I, I didn't want to show too many movies from his horror uh, 
low budget horror period 